whenever you're ready. Welcome back, everybody. Woo! We are here with more Mega Man. Yay. Steve is much, much better than me at Mega Man, it would appear. Either that or else it's just like the game design got like super polished and nice. And so now it's like not as like a pixel jumpy slash like old school uh, arcade challenge. I think uh, uh, Mega I mean, Man 1. Mega Man 1 was definitely like. Ow. Sure. It was definitely. It was definitely more of a janky game, in my opinion. Like. It didn't have the polish that this one does, that's no. for sure. Because. But I, I did play a ton of Mega Man's when I was growing up. Like, that was. Oh, no. No! Oh. That's why you use a Rush Adapt. <clears throat> that's why you use S Adapt, man. That's cheating. No, it's not! Using something, if you press B, you'll like rapid fire. B? Yeah. See? That that is definitely. Cheating. No. Having you know the auto controllers was not cheating. Nintendo. Oh God. Uh, where did that jump by? A significant amount. Yeah, you did. Uh, also, look at how many lives you have. Really, dinosaur? What? What's the matter? So close. To like you also have like a ton of lives. Do I? I don't. I don't know how you switch pages. Honestly, there we go. You do not have a ton of lives. I have. I lied. I have zero lives. Zero lives for the Mega Man. Ching. But you said this was cheating, bro. Yeah, but I have zero lives, so fuck it. Okay. Watch me do it now without it. Yep. <laughs> Look at you go, Mega Man's. No, you're gonna take it off? Yeah, because you that, feel dirty. Well, no, because it, uh, you don't. You know, charge shot is you shoot your fist out. Uh huh, and? So it's not as useful. What are you talking about, not as useful? It doesn't go as far. Yeah, but it, it tracks enemies at the same time. Sure. Unless they go too far away. Oop, bye. Later. The cool thing with that weapon is you can then push that into other enemies and it'll do damage to them. Ah, two enemies for the price of wound. Yeah, the powers in this one were actually pretty neat. Wake up. Run. Run, die. Where are you, weird little ostrich man? I miss Mega Man X, uh, 2? Where you could get the the power armor? Uh, where it was like the giant mechanized suits that oh, Mega yeah. Man rode inside of? Uh, it was first in Mega Man X1. I thought it was only X2 had it. No, X2 had them. It was a slightly different version. You're not gonna go with him? No. Oh, you okay. have Rush Jet. You don't need to worry about that. Or S Adapt. S Adapt. Look at him. Like, oh, look at me. I'm the weird little thingy that, like. You didn't get. God damn it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Ah, well, that was the episode, everybody. Goodbye. Just leave everyone on failure. I mean, that's just our life. Damn. Damn. Anybody who comes to my work looks at me and says, that is how failure looks. This huh? is how you do the failures. No, he's playing anything good. You don't know that? Look at that, he found a Rolex, man. That's not a Rolex. Come, stop, no! Stop it! Animal cruelty! Bro, why you do that to Rush? Ow. Ow. Stop taking damage, Steve. Yeah. I thought you're better than this. I love S Adapt. It's pretty it's fucking rad. Yeah, so like over the break, uh I oh, I didn't actually think I was gonna make that. I did not either. Uh I was uh grabbing us the S and the rush search, which I gotta say, man. Nope, does not do it. Pink. Uh, Oop, bye. I was I was running through the zones and I didn't wasn't using S adapt and I was just like, man, this is so much better. And then all of a sudden I like got to a point where I needed S adapt and I was like, okay, what what the hell is this? And I used it and I was like, oh my god. Yeah. This is the greatest thing ever. It's so awesome. I don't I don't have that pixel jump. No. I can make mistakes. What is this madness? I think the suit first appeared in Mega Man 6, actually. 
Uh, I never played six. I stopped oh, really? playing Mega Man after four. Okay. Uh, well, no, I shouldn't say I stopped playing Mega Man. I stopped. Oh, um, that's, that's the other problem with this. You cannot uh, slide. Yes, that that I did notice. Wait, isn't there something over there? I don't remember. I don't think so. We can find out though. I mean, like, there's just this like empty spot, dude. So I figure that might be. Yeah. Nope. Weird. Bye. Uh. I, yeah, I stopped playing the Mega Man's after I think four or five, uh, because um, I was more obsessed with RPGs at the time. Yeah, like uh, not like I, I shouldn't say like good old fashioned like RPGs, but like punch him in the chin. I was just like completely into like playing RPGs for whatever reason, like Final Fantasy, yeah. Secret of Evermore, Legend of Zelda. Which I gotta say, man, Secret of Evermore is like an amazing game. Like, if you, if, if anybody here has never played Secret of Evermore, you really need to go back and play that game. That game is like a lost art of gaming. I have not played Secret of Evermore. Uh, well, I may have to force you to play it on this channel because right. uh, I gotta say, there, there's some, like, so the weird thing about the game was, is. Uh, it, it definitely was built with the old school, um, Secret of Mana engine. Okay. Interesting. Uh, yeah, and it, it kind of feels like... Come on, Wolverine. Uh, it, it, it feels like how Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask is, um, what's the word I want to look for? Uh, a game that was built... Uh, maybe use an e-tank? Nah. I mean, I've got lives. Or, or, or yeah, that, that too. Oh. Oh, no. Uh, like, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask is definitely built on this concept of, like, they want to do... Oh! Oh! So close. That's fine. Uh... No, I actually have health. They wanted to... Build a game no with the same engine and have it released in the same time that you know, or, or within a short period of time as the other game. Oh, really? Uh, What's it? Ba what the? Well, so like Legend of Zelda: Majora's Mask, uh, as we all know, came out within a short period of time yeah, between yeah. Ocarina of Time and this one, and it feels like um, a uh, a sequel, or I'm um, yeah, a sequel. What was uh? You, so, but you're saying it was uh, ever more similar to it. it. It's built off of the same engine. It has a lot of the same mechanics. What what engine is it built off of? Uh, I don't remember what the engine is. I think it was one of their proprietary ones. But like the graphics are similar. Uh, the way the game plays is similar. The way it's built is similar. Interesting. Uh, it just uses all new mechanics and different gameplay techniques. Oh. And so, oh man, double pain right there. Uh, it's it's really really fun, like, cause you do different things, but it's like it's still within like a similar packaging, so you don't feel like intimidated by it. Which is um, like one of the biggest things that you want to do if you're trying something new is you want to like wrap it all in like familiar packages. Yeah. So that way people feel like they, they know it. They're like, oh, this is like, you know, an action RPG. I understand this. And then it's like all of a sudden you get like all these things and you start playing it. And it's like, oh, you want to cast magic? Well, it's not magic, Steve. It's alchemy. Oh. So what you need to do. And this is like one of the, the things that, you know. It's just how they decided to go with it. It's like you'd run around and you'd kill enemies and enemies would drop items and they'd be things like uh, dinosaur bone or at, or uh, acid or volcanic ash or you pick up tar and then you get items and you combine them together and it's like a pinch of tar or a pinch of ash with a drop of tar with mixed with water creates acid rain. That's kind of cool. And so you can cast spells like that, and that was one of the cool things you could do. And then the super fun part, uh, at least to me, was a fun part. Oh my god, Clown Man's level. This looks like my nightmares as a child. You mean Spring Man? Yeah, whatever. I would say there's... Is there something up here? Yeah? Oh, I might have to get him more... Yeah, you may have to get him more center, because that definitely looked like he was just like, nope. 
Um, one of the interesting you things. Rush, get out of here. Get out of here, dog. Is he falling asleep? He. He fell asleep. What? Get, get out of here. Wow. <laughs> Like, not only did you fail to find something. I'm going to waste your time. I'm going to punish you for it. Um, no. Okay, maybe not. So, one of the, the interesting things that I found in the game was, uh, every zone that you went into, and maybe this is something that I shouldn't tell you, but I'm going to tell you anyways, because I'm an asshole and I like to spoil things for people. Uh, every zone was very thematic, and they all did something different, like... Uh, like, like kind of like how you have Springman's level, where everything's like very springy. Yeah. Like, they'd run into a more thematic level, like, uh, like, Future Town. You'd go to, like, Future Town, and inside of Future Town, you had, um, like, futuristic weapons that you could buy. And so the futuristic weapons were, like, really freaking awesome! And that's a broken pot. Yep. Uh, and so you could get, like, you know, super futuristic weapons, and bring, and, like, because it's the future... It, it, it's like the final zone you can get to essentially and okay. because of that like they're like the best weapons you can get in the game oh that was beautiful but now do you want to get into there that little bottom spot down there or do you want to rush to. search or um oh, oh. <laughs> I thought it was literally going to be like one of those like yeah trust cause, falls because Mega Man's full of those oh Oh, oh, it's a free life. Uh, and whatever you do, your you, oh, also the game allows you to play with two players. Oh, really? Throughout the whole game, it's a co-op game, so this oh, is going to be cool. a great game for us. Ooh, I'm excited now. Uh, and you get to play. One player plays as the human, and a the other human. Play, a human, and the other plays as his trusty dog. <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome! Yeah, and the dog in every zone transforms. Oh really? It changes. So like when you're in the real world, it looks like a bat, like a like a terrier, like a small little terrier dog. Okay. But then whenever you go to like future world, it's robot dog. Neat. Yeah, it's super fun. Yeah. Uh, I I love this game. Like it is by far one of my. Oh wait, that star's lit up. That why is that star lit up while the others aren't? I don't know. Let's. See. Uh, and so, like, it, it's just, it's just a weird, fun, interesting game. And then I remember when we were playing it. Oh, oh, bark, bark, bark. We found something. What did we find? <gasps> oh, oh, that's a big health pack. A lot of health. Yeah. Uh, I remember that when we were playing, my cousin, uh, found something interesting. Uh-huh. Uh, he found a... Uh, oh, double bork! What'd you get here, buddy? What is it? 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 What'd you get us? And it's a, <gasps> it's the hyperbolt. No, that's not the hyperbolt. Oh, never mind then. But I, thought, I appreciate how excited you got about it. I thought it was the hyperbolt. I thought it because it looked like a big old like you know thingy. It does look like a big old thingy. Big old Sadly, bolt. Um, so my cousin found this awesome. Uh, like, I guess, hack, cheat, exploit, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Where you can go to one zone. Oh. Oh, excuse me. Purchase a specific item. Uh, I think you need to go to the other way. Oh, yeah, free health. Or oh, free life. Here, oh, double nice. Um, you can go to one spot. You can purchase an item. Go to another spot. There's a trader there who's like, "Oh man, I really wish I could get my hands on this item." No, I remember. That. And uh, let me get this to go sideways. See the wall? Yeah. You can break it. But okay. I need this. If you jump on it and it rotates. Oh. Secret. Secret. The secret. Hyperbolt. That's the hyperbolt. Oh, secret, secret. Bada bada bum. Yeah. Uh, and you go to another zone and you trade the item to a trader and he gives you this current this very special currency that you can only use in like one specific place 
and it gives you enough to make the purchase of that item again. Okay. But you also have leftover money from it. So it gives you more than you're spending. Okay. And so you can constantly do this like exchange rate thing and you can make unlimited money. Oh, weird. Yeah, it was such a weird little thing because it's like an item that you normally wouldn't buy. Because, like, all the other items that it sells, it's like, here's this badass Gladius sword. Here's this awesome katana. Here's this super powerful armor. Here's this thing that you can't use. And it's like, why would I buy something I can't use? Mm. But then you do, like, this little, like, trading expanse thing, and you become, like, you know, this weird little merchant of, of, of Troy or Rome or whatever you want to call it. And, uh, you do that and you get this, like, you get, like, an ultimate weapon out of it or something like that for the zone. It's like, oh, this piece of weaponry fell from, like, the skies. It's a gift from the gods. Noise. No soice. Probably wonders if it's, uh, if that was actually, like, an old school debug tool. It might have been, and, like, they just never turned it off. Right, yeah. Because, uh, like, you can only get the one item and the guy only ever, uh trades you for that one item I think if you have it oh, so interesting it could, it, yeah it could very well be a debug thing and it's it's really awesome mm. that's cool so now I'm super excited like I really want us to play Secret of Evermore well, I guess we know what we're playing next weekend then I guess so do you have Secret of Evermore still uh, I'm gonna have to check Oh, uh, I nice might week. not have like the SNES version. Oh. I might have it on the PlayStation, but at the same time, it's kind of like maybe. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe. unveil the secret that we uh, we worked at for a while. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. So maybe. Oh, yeah, that's an that's a thing we could do. Yeah, maybe maybe that's something else we can do. Because we always forget. At least I always forget. I always forget that we have like. Uh, a bunch of stuff that we were like, this would be great to do on our channel. Yeah. And then we got it and we never did it. And it was <laughs> like, uh, uh, womp, womp. spend all that money for nothing. Like, I can see it right now. Yep. It's just collecting dust. But wow, man, you got through that Springman level real fast. Yeah. And we got two secrets. Secret, secret. Keep so. it safe. Secret, I got secret. the Joker. You got the Joker. This is it allows you to go crazy. This is when uh, the abilities start to stop making sense to fight with the, what bosses they beat. Oh yeah, what I is can, that? I can shoot springs, so they apparently beat vampire guy. Wait, what? Yeah, I don't get it. No one gets it. All right, wild coil with the ugliest fucking setup ever: green and purple. Yep. All right, everybody. In the next episode, we will go against Vampire Guy and what looks like um, an F1 racer. Yep. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye.